This video is to demonstrate early reinfusion on the 5008S foam machine. Um, there's two different kinds. There's the emergency reinfusion um, with a medical emergency where we're simply opening up the two saline clamps and closing the red and allowing the blood to go back as soon as possible. The second option would be early reinfusion where we actually select reinfusion on the machine. So that's what we're gonna demonstrate here. Okay, so if our patient needs to end treatment early for any reason, we're going to prepare our supplies first. So we're gonna get the sterile four x four underneath the catheter. We're going to grab one chlorhexidine wipe. We're going to start by cleaning the outside of the catheter while still connected to the bloodline. So 30 rigorous scrubs or approximately 30 seconds. Okay. And second wipe for the other side. Perfect. All right, now we're ready to press reinfusion. Okay, so we're gonna hit start reinfusion up at the top. We always have the option to go back into treatment at this point, but we need to connect to the NACL, which is bag of saline. So we're going to clamp the two arterial clamps, disconnect the arterial bloodline from the patient and then that's going to connect to the saline port on the saline line. Okay, then we're going to open up the saline roller clamp and the large red arterial bloodline clamp. And then we're going to hit OK on the screen. Pump speed is automatically going back to 200. And the rest of the procedure is much the same as the op procedure that we would normally do. At this point, we can clean the tip of the arterial catheter, 30 scrubs. All right, and then we're gonna have pre-filled saline syringe, 10 mils, remove air. Flush the arterial lumen, unclamp, turbulent flush, and then clamp and just leave that syringe hanging. All right, so once your bloodline is watermelon colored, you can stop your pump, check blood pressure. Patient's not actually connected, but yeah, we'll just go through the motions. All right, so you can see at this point in time, you do have the option to remove bloodlines, go back to treatment, or continue reinfusion. So based on if you have a stable blood pressure, we will just leave as is for the moment. We're going to clamp the two venous clamps, disconnect from the patient, and we're going to open the door, remove the transducer, or AKA hydrophobic filter, attach the venous bloodline, and then we're gonna close the door and just straight the line over the door. And then you can hit remove bloodlines. There we go. All right, now we're ready to clean the tip of the venous lumen. So 30 scrubs. to grab the 10 mil saline syringe, remove the air, attach to our Tago cap, unclamp, turbulent flush, clamp, and then leave it hanging. All right, so um, as we saw in the previous video, we're going to 
take the sodium citrate, also known as Citraflow. I'm going to remove the air from the syringe, and then we're going to push out extra solution until we get to two mils. So that would be for a 1.9 volume catheter. We're going to overfill by 0.1. Attach your sodium citrate. So unclamp and then push quickly and then clamp immediately. And you can leave that syringe hanging. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Take cap off, remove your air, and just push out the excess until you have two mils in your syringe. Switch out your syringes. And then quick flush and then clamp right away. That maintains positive pressure in the catheter. All right, our patient is done.